Alrighty guys, welcome back to Ark, where today we are doing another video where we are going to be building the cloning chamber, hopefully. And along with building the cloning chamber, we're going to add the B to the genetic library. But first things first, I gotta go get some polymer. Now, as you guys know, last episode I did build this little polymer farm. It is actively going right now, but I do got one little problem. I do technically have to build... A little bit of an area to properly hatch those and contain full grown adult penguins that I could club to death easily to get a lot of polymer. Because here's the thing I gotta hatch the eggs, wait like I think it was like oh, eight minutes for those things to fully grow, and then just club a bunch of them to death. And then I should get like a thousand polymer if I remember correctly, because that's what I used to do back on the island. So, but. What we're going to do here, just because I don't have that set up yet, is run over to the iceberg and maybe even down to the ice palace. And we're going to use this wooden club here and blossom and we're going to club some penguins. Okay, found the penguins. There's really not a whole lot of adults. It's like they're all small childs. Okay. Blossom, take the club, and let's begin. One. 71, nice. See, that's what I'm after. Yeah. Give me that polymer. How my club? Ooh, you took a lot of damage. You know what? I should have probably grabbed some wood and fiber so that way I could just repair you as well. Um, If I remember correctly, there's like a little path over here to the next little section. If I just follow this, and then, oh, whoop, and then over, and then I'm lost. No, I'm not. And then up. We should be technically in the other area. Is this not it? This iceberg is weird. Um, I don't think there's any more penguins. But I'm pretty sure we should be good with the 500 polymer we got. I didn't need much. Uh, problem is, though, is that it is... Uh, what is it? It spoils, so I do got to be a little bit quick. But luckily... Alright, so back, I think, on like basic arc, it's stuck at like stacks of 10. So organic polymer takes up a lot of space. And it also decays pretty quick. Where did I park Rhino? I don't know where I am at. You can obviously see that. So, anyways, I got the polymer I needed. We're going to go pack up Blossom. going to run back to the base. Then, next thing I got to do is check and see if we got enough metal yet. Because I did put a bunch of metal from my metal run this morning into the Industrial Forge. So that way we could actually, you know, do this. You know what I actually miss from back on... Uh, ASE. So the small teleporters that we have in ASA, that's something that is base game ASA. Back in ASE, that was a mod. And it also came with a <clears throat> it also came with a remote. So that way we could uh teleport back to any teleport pad that we already had set up from anywhere. And then it also had a send back option. That's how I used to like farm artifacts from caves, is I teleport in uh, grab the artifact, teleport back, drop it off at base, teleport back in, sit there, wait for the artifact to respawn, get it, teleport back, and rinse and repeat, you know? And it was probably the best way to do it back in ASC. And technically, I did do that in ASA, but I had to set up tech generators inside the tech cave, well, not in the tech caves, inside the caves near the drop points and make sure that those that stuff wasn't destroyed by stuff you know and luckily you know i do have it so that way when you collect artifacts you do have a chance of getting element from artifact drops and you also get art of uh, was it tech blueprints i almost said artifact blueprints damn i am a dunce right now but yeah i'll get back to you guys once we're at the base so now what we'll do is we'll land we'll check the metal make sure that we have enough did I remember to grab the polymer off of you? Yeah. Sorry. I, I'm pretty sure I already did that. It was just one of those like sudden thoughts. Like, wait, did I? Okay, that's 
a lot of metal. I don't... I got stuck on a wall. Damn. I think I only need about a thousand. Actually, I think I need two thousand metal. Clone Yep. I'm still short on... No, shit. I need... Uh, if I'm doing my math correctly... <clears throat> A lot of metal. <laughs> Need about a thousand seven hundred. No, uh, let me do my math correctly. A thousand eight hundred. So this has now quite literally become a waiting game. For me to get my cloning chamber, I just gotta wait now for the metal. And technically, I could throw this thing into whole high gear, couldn't I? Do you not refine metal in your inventory anymore? Or do I have to do something to do that? Um, t -t -t options. Huh. I don't think you can. Also, I need to get you sulfur. You are starving. I should probably cryopod you up and put you somewhere safe. Damn. That's probably a smarter idea right now. Because if Stella starves to death, I don't have a Oasisaur on this map to revive her. So, you can come and chill in here with our, uh, our, uh, Pyro main army and our two, uh, two Sotuses that I honestly forgot about. I remember taming them back on the island. I just forgot about them. And I even remember that we, uh, initially planned on breeding all these creatures up. And I think that's what I'm going to do tomorrow is we'll actually probably breed up the Tusos. We'll do a breeding video with these four creatures. And then on Friday... I don't know. I don't know what I'll do Friday. I might try find some, try and find something fun to do on Friday. We might build a boat. Nah, nah. We we ain't gonna do that because I know for a fact the lead sick this will destroy my boat. Okay, so I've decided while we are waiting. Oh, you know what? No, because I'll leave those guys in the army. So I've decided while we're waiting here, we are gonna pop out some pyro mains. I. And we're going to actually get some here so that way we can make a poop farm using them. Like I said earlier at the beginning of this video. Did I say that at the beginning of this video? I might have. I might not have. I might have forgot to. But that's the plan is we're going to clone our two, our dung beetle in there twice. And then we are going to, uh, again, be using these guys for them to produce poop. Because the poop that they drop... Uh, did you guys actually drop one by chance when I threw you out? It's like magical flaming poop, and it like has a beneficial bonus stuff for when you have it in your crop plots. And apparently if you turn it into fertilizer, it's really good, but I haven't tried that yet. So, we're going to give that a shot here. Also, it's been a good while. Let's go check on see how much metal I got. Um, okay, we need about, 800, or about 720 more, if I was correct. If I did my math correctly. Um, yeah. Let me just make sure I'm not running out of, uh, polymer here. Yeah, we should be good, as long as they don't go below 800 polymer. Uh, black pearls were fine on, I can always grab more. Uh, because again, I do got my erupted on farm there, and they produce me black pearls. And I just need that metal, 1,800. So hopefully by the time these guys are done, and this is the poop that I was talking about. Uh, flaming medium animal poop. But hopefully by the time those guys are done, that metal's done. But when we once we set up the poop farm for these guys, would be more efficient fertilizer if combined in a bin with thatch. Or is that just wait? Is that just the normal? Am I crazy? I just saw you poop. Where'd it go? Giga, can you poop? Utai, thank you. You like quite literally... Uh, Krillin, you pooped on command. Thank you. I feel like that's just the basic thing all poop tells you. Yeah, I'm just crazy. So, yeah, let's actually not do that. I'm just... I'm just... I'm just special. <laughs> I, I can't believe I, uh... I thought that... That was something. You know, I'm actually blaming it on the guy whose video I watched on how to tame the pyromane. 
Because you were the one that spouted that kind of stuff. Like, their poop has a special thing. If you combine it with thatch and you get an even better fertilizer. No. Because I'm pretty sure that's what got me hooked on it. And I just never did my research since then. I'll just do my standard routine with a poop farm of throwing it somewhere over here in the middle of the egg farm. And then it just steals all the poop from the egg farm, you know? And then, yeah, the... What is it? What are they called? Uh, the dung beetles will, you know, produce the fertilizer. I can't think anymore, because I'm just so upset that I was thinking that the pyromanes had their own specialized kind of fertilizer if you combined it with their poop. That's, that's just, that's just ridiculous, honestly. It's just flaming poop. Look at it. There's nothing special about it. Okay, we finally got enough metal here. To build the cloning chamber. Okay. Boom. Oh, nope. Click on it and then hit E. Bang. There we go. Now, cloning chamber. Let's see what I need here. Um. Oh, I actually have to place you on a foundation. Damn it. Can I, by chance, hang you off the edge here? Boom. Let's build it right there. Just for right now. Um, I'm definitely going to have to build a special, like, tech area. Like, for the fabricator and this thing. And, yeah. Yeah, this thing's huge. So, are you powered? Yes, you're powered. So, Let's grab the cloning creatures. Let's start with the... B was it the ant? I thought that was the bee. I Like, I even stuttered. Like, like what the hell? What the hell? I'm like, losing my mind as well right now, guys. Because I have no clue what's even going on anymore. Because I just sat here watching metal process for like a good 20 minutes. I didn't see actually how many shards that thing actually needs. I should probably just make like... Uh, I don't... Oh, what what is it? A hundred thousand is a thousand metal. Or a hundred thousand shards is a thousand element. If I'm correct. What is it? I need... F I think I need to do 15 element shards there. Because I get a thousand a shard, right? If I hit, if I hit E, how many of these do you produce? You produce a hundred. Okay, let's just do a hundred then, because I'm going to need quite a bit, and that's only one element a piece. You know what? Let's do. I know this is seeming like a lot of element, and it is, because I have to go do a lot more boss fights now to even recover this, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty decent on element right now. But I would like more. Okay, I think I have enough shards. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, I need about 15,000 for this. Correctly, right? Shove you all in here. Clone. Ant. Boom. Process beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We cloning? We cloning? I can't see anything indicating that. Yep, we are cloning. That's going to take 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Damn. That's actually... Eh. It's a while. Okay, so really all it is now is quite literally a waiting game. So what I'm probably going to do here is call it the episode. I got my ant put away. All I need to do is clone the bee. Oh no, technically... You know, you know what? This is what I'll do. I'll clone the bee once and then I'll throw the clone in the genetic library. So that way next time I have it ready and then i'll just use the original one as the farm one because that'd be the smart idea you know because if if you guys notice here the ant that's cloning is a clone of the clone this is a clone right here all right this is a clone of the original we are going to be cloning the clone to get clones of the clone all right so while i'm doing this i'm probably going to move on to my next episode so i'm going to call it here so if you guys have found yourself 
at any point enjoying this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys are notified upon me posting new videos. And yeah, this has been Gun Shamore. Peace out.